वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम थ्री पॉइंट थ्री नाइन सो स्टेटमेंट इज़ द वायर ईच हैविंग डायमीटर ऑफ हाफ इंच लेंथ ऑफ टू फीट एन आर मेड अब ऑफ थ्री जीरो वन थ्री जीरो फोर स्टेनलेस स्टील सो डिटरमाइन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ फोर्स पी सो दैट रिजिड बीम टिल जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन फाइव डिग्री सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द बीम ए बी एन दैट इज सपोर्टेड बाई वायर ए डी एन वायर बी सी The length of each wire AD and BC are two feet and diameters are half inch. So we have to determine this load P when it tilts. This beam tilts through an angle of theta that is given as zero point zero one five degree. So I have written the data diameter of AD is zero point five diameter of BC is zero point five. Length of each cable or wire is 24 inch angle of tilt is 0.015 inch and modulus of elasticity and yield strength for this 304 stainless steel is taken from the property table of this book mechanics of material by rc hibler i will show you so if you go at the end of the book so definitely there is a average at the last average mechanical property so again in a previous problem i have highlighted this so this is the modulus of elasticity of uh, 28 into 10 to the power 3 ksi and this is the yield strength which is 30 ksi so we'll move back and we will solve this problem so again you can see due to this uh, uh, load p definitely there will be a reaction force due to this rope ad and this bc so we will find them so for that i have to draw the free body diagram so again so if this is the beam clear and this is there is a force of f ad over here and there is a force of f b c over here and there is a point load p that is acting on that so from here this distance is 1 feet and the remaining distance is 2 feet so we'll apply equilibrium condition in order to find this fbc and fd so for that first equilibrium condition is sum of all moment about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so this is point a and this is point b so about point a the first moment that is produced due to this force and perpendicular distance is this one and it is producing clockwise the second force which is producing moment about point a is this one and perpendicular distance and it is producing counter clockwise rotation so we'll write them again f b c f bc into perpendicular distance is 3 and it is producing counter clockwise so it will be positive minus p into 2 is equal to 0 so from here you will get fbc in term of p which is equal to 0.667p so this is the value of fbc now for in fad we will take the equilibrium of all moment about point b is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so now at this point b one force is producing moment and perpendicular distance is this and it is producing counter clockwise so it will be positive the second moment due to this force will be this and it is producing clockwise rotation so i will write them fad into perpendicular distance is 3 and this is minus plus p into 1 is equal to 0 so from here you will get fad will be equal to 0.333p now we have these two forces we will move toward finding the normal stress and their strain normal stresses and strain normal stresses and strain so for normal stress we know that sigma stress in wire bc will be equal to fbc over 
area of BC. So BC is 0 0.667 P divided by area which is pi by 4 and diameter of BC is uh, was 0 0.5 inch. So 0 0.5 square. So when you solve it you will get 3.395 P and stress in wire AD will be equal to force into AD divided by area of AD so force in AD is 0 0.333 P divided by area is pi by 4 D square and D is 0 0.5 so when you solve this you will get the stress in wire AD is 1.6977 P now due to this stress there will be strain uh, in the wire and when you want to uh, find the strain so we here assume that this stress sigma bc is less than yield strength and sigma ad is less than yield strength so we can apply hooks law in order to find the strain so strain uh, in wire in row bc will be equal to stress bc over e so stress in bc is 3.395 p and e is 28 into 10 raised to power 3 ksi which is 28 into 10 raised to power 6 okay so from here you will get strain in bc is equal to 0 0.12126 into 10 raised to power minus 6 p same you can use for strain in wire ad is equal to stress in wire ad divided by modulus of elasticity so that is 1.6977 p divided by e is 28 into 10 to the power 6 clear and when you solve this you will get strain in wire ad comes out to be uh, strain in wire ad comes out to be 60 point 60.6305 into 10 to the power minus 9p now you have these both strain you can find the change in length of wire bd so we know that change in length of wire bc is equal to strain in bc into original length of bc so this is 0 0.12126 into 10 to the power minus 6 p and length was 24 inch so when you multiply it you will get 2.9103 into 10 to the power minus 6 p that is change in length of wire bc similarly change in length of wire ad is equal to strain in ad into original length of ad so strain is 60.6305 into 10 to the power minus 9 p multiplied by length is 24 inch so you will get change in length of ad comes out to be 1.45551 into 10 to the power minus 6 p now it is given that theta angle of tilt was given as 0 0.015 degree so we have to convert it to radian and we know that 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree so 1 degree will be equal to 2 pi over 360 degree radian and that is equal to pi by 180 radian 1 degree so again you have to multiply by 0 0.015 with 
pi by 180 so it will be converted from radian into degree and this theta will be equal to in radian it is equal to 0 0.2618 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian so this theta is very very small so again this theta if i draw the figure this is the beam a b so due to load p definitely it will this will elongate we have sigma a d as well as sigma b d sigma b d is greater so so if i draw this line this is sigma a d which is less than sigma b d so this is the angle of this is that angle theta so we know that tangent of theta will be equal to this distance and this distance is equal to delta bc minus delta ad so delta bc minus delta ad divided by length and this is the total length of the beam okay so now theta is very very small so tangent of theta will be equal to theta so again this theta will become theta is equal to delta bc minus delta ad over this length now we have the value of theta which is 0 0.2618 into 10 to the power minus 3 we have this delta BC is 2.9103 into 10 to the power minus 6P minus 1.45551 into 10 to the power minus 6P over the length and length was 24 inch. So you have to multiply 24 on both sides. So we will get 24 multiplied by 0 0.2618 into 10 to the power minus 3. And again, you can see that you can take the P common from here and it will be 2.9103 into 10 to the power minus 6 minus 1.5551 into 10 to the power minus 6. okay so when you calculate it you will get the value of p and this p will comes out to be six six four seven six point nine three pounds or you can say that this load is equal to six point four eight kips and this is our answer so for a uh, for a tilt angle of tilt of 0 0.2618 in 10 to the power 3 minus 3 radian or 0 0.015 degree you need a load of 2.648 kips i will show it this p is equal to 26.48 load is applied i hope you have enjoyed this video again if you like my video then subscribe my channel okay and keep watching it thank you so much